Hey guys, my name is Shachi. I'm a travel and a visa coach. On this channel, you'll find lots of useful videos on the US visa process. We have a dedicated playlist for fall 2024. So please do check out this video. Uh, this video is going to be a quick update video on the availability of US visa slots for fall 2024. So based on the analysis of the slot opening over the past few intakes, as well as whatever we are seeing right now and all the communication that we see from the embassy, we have put together a few insights to share with you so that you have clarity on what all has happened till now and what you can expect going forward. So let's jump into the video. So first let me start with what all has happened till now. So till now there has been one minor opening, that's it. There was one minor opening and this was about uh, I guess a four to five days back and this was for slots from around 21st of May to about 30th of May. So this opening was mainly for students who have their courses beginning in June. Many of you might have a summer or an early fall course which begins in June. So this minor opening was targeted for those students. And I really hope that all of you who are going for the June intake were able to secure your appointment. If you did not get the appointment, do not worry. Um, this is just a minor opening. I see a lot of you messaging us saying that you missed this opening and you don't know what to do next. Well, there's absolutely nothing to worry about. It was a small opening. Most students did not get the slot. So this was about what has happened till now. Just wait for the <laughs> plane to pass. Next, I'm going to be talking about what we can expect going forward. And this is the most important part of the video. So based on all the analysis that we have done, we see that typically there is a gap of about two weeks between opening. Now, once the slots start opening, they keep opening up. So we are now in the phase where we can expect the slots to open. And given that we can expect about two weeks between each opening, I would say that the next opening of slots would be somewhere between 15th to 18th May. So 15th to 18th May, which is roughly about a week from now, is when, is when we can open the next, when we can expect the next opening of slots to happen. And I feel that this will be a major opening. In fact, this will be one of the main openings for fall 2024. And most of you should be able to secure your appointment in this particular opening. So gear up in about a week, you will have one big opening of slot and these slots will be for interview dates in June. So you get the appointment in May and you will have the visa appointment in June. So roughly you will have about two weeks to prepare for your visa interview. Now, after this May opening, we can expect another opening and this will be in June. So again, take going by the logic that there will be two weeks of gap. After the opening in May, we can expect the next set of slots to open somewhere around 10th of June. And these will be for visa interviews end of June to July. So these two big openings, which will essentially cover May, June, July interviews, is what we can expect going forward. So at this point of time, it's really important that you have your DS-160 form ready, you have your visa portal ready, you have paid the visa fee, you have got the I-20, everything is done, and you are in a place where you can just go push that button and secure your appointment. This brings us to the question of refused appointments or refused slots. I know a lot of you here are also waiting for a few slots. I know that a lot of you did not get for spring intake and you're waiting from then. Well, again, going by the past trends, we can expect that a few slots to happen in two ways. One is that once these two big bulk openings are done, there are minor openings which keep coming up and that will cater to the refused students. Or there could be one major opening somewhere around end of June or first week of July, wherein they open up the slots for everyone, which means that even uh, students who have a refusal will be able to book the appointment. So if you have a refusal, you can expect June to July to be the time where you will be able to book the appointment. So if you're unable to book the appointment in May, please do not worry. It's completely fine. Uh, the way they work is that they are going to prioritize people who are giving for the first attempt and then uh, you will get the turn, but you will definitely get the appointment. Uh, when I interact with students in our WhatsApp community that we have, I see that people are extremely worried about slots. And I don't, uh, honestly, I don't see equal importance being given to the interview preparation. So please don't do that. Obviously, you need an appointment. I understand that. But you also need to prepare. Because once you get the appointment, we are seeing that there's not a lot of time. Like people who are getting the appointment, their interviews are literally in 10 or 12 days, which means that you just have about two weeks to prepare everything, get your documents, get your answers ready. So parallelly keep focusing on the interview preparation. So to summarize, we can expect three bulk openings around 15th of May, around 10th of June, and around June end or first week of July. The first two primarily will cater to fresh, 
and the last one will cater to refused and in, will be open for all the students. Now, once we ha uh, now that we are done with the slot schedule, I wanted to touch upon all the errors that are happening in the system. So regularly I see students message us and tell us that they are facing some errors in the system. And yes, these number of these errors have gone up significantly right now uh, because just purely because more and more people are trying to log in and you know access the system. So the system is obviously the loading is more and it's throwing more errors. So if you two are facing errors when you're using the US visa portal, don't worry, it's again completely normal. Everybody or rather I would say almost everyone is facing some type of glitch or other. There are three common errors that I've noticed. So I'll quickly touch upon that and give you some pointers for this. First is that the OFC is booked and the system just freezes. It doesn't go ahead. This is an error where uh, the OFC slots, because the OFC, that means your biometric slots are more in number, it's able to show you. But once you book that, there are no interview slots for the system to show. So many times, instead of showing you that no slots are available, it will just freeze and everything will just freeze at that point of time. So again, this is a common error. If you're stuck here, just realize that there are no interview slots available right now. So quickly log out. Do not waste your login attempt. Do not waste this attempt that you have because if you stay, try to click, try to do anything, nothing's going to happen. So quickly log out if you are stuck in this particular phase. The second error which we are noticing is that the number of rescheduled attempts uh, uh, has gone down. So basically people are getting a message that you have only one reschedule left or you are reaching the limit of the number of your reschedules. And students tell us that I actually did not use the four attempts, I rescheduled only once, yet it is showing me this error. Now again there are various reasons why this is happening. Uh, sometimes it is just again a system glitch. But another reason why this is happening is that when you click OFC and it doesn't go ahead, the system is actually counting it as a reschedule. So many of you might have booked the OFC and it's not going ahead and you're just you know on that page and you're trying to figure this out that gets counted as a reschedule by the system and which reduces it from the number of attempts that you have so once you book the main appointment you're supposed to have four reschedule attempt but if you're going to spend time in just being stuck in that OFC page and trying to move back and forth the system is going to count that as a reschedule so which is why I was saying previously that if you're stuck in the OFC just quickly log out because you do not want to waste this attempt and you don't want the system to count it as a reschedule the third error is Again, a system error wherein uh, just a message is displayed that an error has occurred and this can come at various page, either at the login page or at the payment page or even at the appointment booking page. This is again pure system glitch because of the loading and if you're facing this error, there are a couple of things that work. Uh, avoid using Chrome. We see this error is maximum when a Chrome browser is used. Go for Safari, Firefox, any of these alternative browsers. Also incognito mode works, so try the incognito mode. Try non-P cars, so when you log in at non-P cars, um, which typically could be very early in the morning or late in the night or somewhere in the mid-afternoon, then we see that the possibility of these errors is again lower. So try the non-P cars. And third is using a different system altogether. So if you're using your laptop, change it out, use another laptop or use your phone. So when you use a different system, that also reduces the number of these errors. So these are just a few hacks in case you're stuck in any of the error. If you have more such errors, just put it down in the comment uh, section below. And if we have any solution to that, I'll just type it out and explain to you how you can solve that. So this was all the updates that I wanted to share. Uh, I really hope that it give you, gives you some clarity about what to expect going forward and generally brings down the anxiety because uh, I can totally understand that right now you must uh, just be feeling so anxious that you just want to book an interview appointment and get the get done with this process. Uh, so yeah, feel free to reach out if you have any more questions. This was just a casual video to bring you up to speed. And like I said, we have more content coming up on this particular playlist for fall 2024. So please subscribe, stay tuned. Also, you can follow me on Instagram. Instagram handle is at shachi.mal because on Instagram, I'm able to put out more real-time updates, especially about opening of slots. So do follow me there as well. And we have a bunch of free resources for you. So all of this is right below in the description box. Please do check it out. And of course, reach out for a detailed preparation. Our main package or rather our main preparation method is the seven day course. It is not seven continuous days. It is seven sessions, which are spread out to you know customize it as per your interview date, as per your preparation time that you need. And many students have already enrolled with us for fall 24. So if you two are targeting this intake and you know that you're going to have the interview in the next two to three weeks, now is a good time to start. So do check out 7-day. And we have other ways. We also have a core package wherein we review your form, we uh, structure answers for you, we help you, uh, in, I mean, we help you clear the interview by giving you a mock interview and a practice. So you can check out that as well. 
So all the good stuff, as usual, is always in the description box. Uh, take a look and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. I really hope that uh, you have a good intake, you have a good visa experience and wish all of you the very best.